Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this triangle pattern in Affinity Designer. A few months ago I already recorded a tutorial on how to create a pattern with equilateral triangles. Today's pattern is going to be a bit different, it will involve a set of four right triangles that is rotated by 90 degrees at every second iteration. As I explained you in my previous tutorials, in order to create a pattern for a pattern fill in Affinity Designer, we first need to identify the tile that repeats itself throughout the composition. In this particular pattern, I identify the following tile that I highlighted with a black rectangle. The key to identifying a tile in a pattern is that it must start on the top, where it ends at the bottom, and it must start on the left, where it ends on the right. So this is what the tile is going to look like after we have created and exported it. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we are going to start drawing the triangles. So we take the Rectangle tool, we leave the field to grey, and we set the stroke to None. And then we go ahead and we draw a rectangle. And we give it 500 by 500 pixels in the transform panel. And then we take the pen tool. And then we draw a line from the top left to the bottom right of the rectangle. We press on escape and then we draw another line from the top right to the bottom left of the rectangle. And then with the move tool we select all three elements. And then we go here to the Divide operator to divide the rectangle along the lines that we've just drawn. And this creates the right rectangles that we need. And then while holding Shift, we select the triangle on the left and the one on the right. And we press on Delete to remove them. And we select the triangle on the top and the one at the bottom. We press on Ctrl G to group them together. And we set their fill color to orange. And then, with the Move tool, we position the group at the top left of the composition. So we are going to use this first group to create the other groups of triangles that we need for the tile. So we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we position the second duplicated group here, at the bottom right of the tile. And then we are going to need another group of triangles here, and one here, but we are going to need them rotated by 90 degrees. So we select the group here, we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we position the duplicated group here. And we go here to enable transform origin. And we set the rotation angle to 90 degrees. And then we unselect and we select again, not to reapply the rotation transformation again. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate the group. And then we position it here, to the bottom left. So now we have our tile that is created. The next step is going to be to export it, to be able to use it as a pattern fill. So we go to File Export. We set the document type to PNG. And the area to Wall Area. And then we export the tile. And then we're going to use the tile to do a pattern fill, so we go to File New. And we create a new composition. We take the Rectangle tool, we set the fill and stroke to None. And then we draw a rectangle all over the composition. We select the rectangle. And then we take the Vector Float Fill tool. We go here to set Bitmap Fill. And we select the tile that we just created. We click on the composition and this creates the pattern fill. And if the tile was created correctly, there should be no discrepancy in the pattern. And then we can adjust the pattern with the handles to make it bigger or smaller. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a pattern with right triangles in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!